Okay, so today's video is going to be about the uh, the rule of threes. Just some clarification. The rule of threes is, is the um, the idea that we organize around some of our, our field craft uh, goals and um, our pacing, like what we're going to do first, what needs to be addressed first. And this will give you an idea of uh, what's important when you go outside to help further your skills and um, um, know-how so you can get outside safely. So the rule of threes, uh, again, I didn't make it up. It's just been around for a while. It kind of corresponds with Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the first two levels, uh, physiological needs and then uh, personal safety. So it goes basically like this. Uh, for the, you've got three minutes to deal with any breathing or bleeding issues, right? Basically, first aid. So in any kind of emergency, or even when you're out in the woods, uh, when you're putting your kit uh, bags together, or you're deciding what to take when you go out just for the day, always think about what if there's an emergency with some sort of first aid or trauma. You get about three minutes, you have to deal with those first because... Uh, that's the shortest time frame. The next time frame would be three hours. You typically have three hours to deal with um, too hot, too cold, basically exposure. So what this translate for, translates to for us for field craft is when you're out in the woods, shelter from the elements is the most important thing. This comes down to being uh, properly prepared. As we say a lot, there's no such thing as bad weather, just poor clothing choices, hats, gloves, uh, dry socks, proper footwear if necessary, uh, maybe an extra blanket or, or a, um, a tarp, a shelter, a bag liner, all sorts of ways to protect yourself from getting uh, too hot or too cold. So basically, you've got three hours. If you were out too hot or too cold, you're going to have some kind of life-threatening uh, emergencies. Now, these are not hard and fast. Like I said, it's just sort of the rule of threes, not the law of threes, because we just we measure uh, kind of a... Um, an estimate of how much time you've got to deal with these things. Then we're going to get up to three days. Okay, You can typically go um, sometime within three days where lack of water or lack of sleep is going to become very, very important, life-threatening. Uh, I'm not saying that you're okay to go three days without water, but you've got most people on average, that's your limit. You're not going to go more than three days without water or sleep, without having some sort of life-threatening uh, consequences. So obviously, um, if I were out in the woods, getting some clean water to drink is important, but it's not as important as building a safe shelter to keep me uh, not too cold, not too hot. And even that's not as important as making sure I've tended any wounds I've got. And I don't mean a scratch on your knuckle. I mean like a, a hemorrhage. Okay? Um, next, you're going to talk about three weeks. Three weeks is hunger or food. All right. One of my kind of pet peeves is on the, the, the survivalist or the prepper sort of things. They're always talking about, well, um, get you a fire started and then get something to eat. And, they, and then maybe you can build a shelter. They're always worried about eating, carrying a snack bar with you and everything. The human animal is designed to go quite a bit of time without uh, food intake. You'll kick over in your fat burning stores and you should be good. Uh, this is one of the other reasons we promote uh, occasional intermittent fasting so that you get used to being hungry and realize you're not going to die just because you haven't eaten in three hours. Okay? Typically, typically uh, you can get by about three weeks before uh, lack of food would become a serious life-threatening issue. Not for everybody. Obviously, if you have um, diabetes or uh, other um, physiological, physiological uh, regulation disorders, that can become a problem. You know, throw a cliff bar or something uh, or some jerky and nuts in your bag and that should be good. But you don't have to right away break out the emergency fishing kit and start looking for fish because you've been lost for two days. Make sure you've got clean water, you're getting plenty of rest and sleep, you're tending to your exposure limits, and you're uh, tending to first aid. Right? Then uh, just for the sake of symmetry, uh, we put three months in our uh, rule of threes and this is going to be... Most people are okay, but three months in isolation without other without um, other human contact or interacting with somebody can have a lot of negative consequences. And again, think of these uh, hours, days, months, uh, weeks as limits. Right? It just kind of fits the symmetry of this rule of threes, and it gives you a nice order with which to address problems or situations 
uh, that come up when you're out in the woods. Okay? First aid, stopping, make sure you can breathe properly and taking care of any hemorrhaging or uh, first aid issues is always first. Next thing you want to tend to is uh, exposure, making sure you're not too hot, not too cold, got dry, clean clothing on, or you've built a proper shelter to protect yourself from the elements. The third one is going to be water and proper rest. Okay? Don't, uh, uh, don't neglect the importance of sleep or just sitting down and resting for a while to uh, maybe help not in, induce a panic or get your, your mind clear so you can make a good decision. Then you're talking, those are kind of the main ones. These will, these will deal with your, your immediate safety. And then physiological and psychological needs, those can take months or weeks to set in. So as long as you stay calm and attend to the immediate concerns by following the rule of threes or keeping that in mind, then you can mostly work out the rest. Um, you might be unpleasant for the first week with no food, but you can always eat um, things you wouldn't normally think of as food. Earthworms, grubs, uh, small fish. Uh, lots of things. These, there's a there's a show on the History Channel that I, I I like called Alone, and they show that it's not usually the food does get these people sometimes, but they'll go uh, weeks uh, with you know maybe um, maybe one or two fish, or they caught a rabbit, uh, or they eat some berries. They lose a lot of weight, and they they check those contestants each week to make sure they're staying safe. But hunger doesn't usually end up being the problem. What gets most of them. Uh, thus the name of the show alone is the isolation. It kind of breaks them having to deal with all this and being all alone at the same time. So you got your, your safety, your physiological, and then some psychological um, items. This helps you organize in your head uh, when you're outside what to uh, address or deal with first. Okay, call it the rule of threes. Always have some first aid kit with you. That's primary. Always have the proper clothing and sheltering and uh, sleeping items. Always have a way to make clean water. Make sure you get proper sleep. Take some food with you. And then the other tools you take with you to start a fire, to, um, to warm up, or to um, purify water, or to keep some animals away from you or produce food so that the tool of fire can help address a bunch of these. But there it is just for some clarification. Those that have asked what, what I mean when I refer to Follow the rule of threes. Keep this little item, this little itemized list in mind. Then I help you out a lot when you're packing or when you're outside and maybe in an emergency. So uh, don't forget to uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel and then share this with others. Thank you.